You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that. Excluding yours truly, of course. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Ah, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I tried to be different. It's like me looking at this outfit. It's just gonna make me throw on all black. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. I don't really like the hats. It'll keep you warm and looking your best. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. to say that looks just fantastic on you. Now, what is your preferred color for this? I was just about to say they ain't got no black for this. Together. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? People around here come in just for those. is a local favorite. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Well, all right then. 
I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. That's it for now. I came in here, been in there for too long. I had to leave. I wanna, I want like a pure all black outfit. Yep. Where I wanted something fancy, like like a little black. I mean, not black. Uh, a yellow coat with it. Arms for the blind. Con artist, I know he's not blind. Hello, there you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. He Truly literally grabbed my hand. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. He literally grabbed my hand as soon as I put the money down. Hi there, come on in. Got an idea of what you want? Ah, really. This nigga Whiskers look like Michael off of San, uh, I Grand Theft Auto 5. This nigga looks like Michael 100%. I'm gonna get this fade though. That's pretty decent. Bro, this is literally like uh, this is this is they like the terminator a little bit though. You already know I'm keeping my beard. Gotta keep that. So I don't think go, that only goes up to 10. Well, I guess we're all done here. Yeah, I'm cool. All right. I needed some fancy clothes and I'll be. Ah, fit the city part. Ah, fit the city life. I don't, I don't like wearing hats though. I ain't gonna lie. I mean to put that up. Hello. Bonjour. Yo, can I get on my horse? Hey, dude, you need a get that.
Ham Hawks. Bro, why does she sound like an actual black girl? That is crazy. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Yo, that's that Louisiana accent. Now they got that right. They got an actual black person to that. All right, let me see. Which which one is a Dutch at? I'm gonna go to that one. This is the far one. Actually, I ain't even about to go. To, I'm gonna go to this one. I'm right next to it. Yeah. Hey there. You ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, nope. But fancy name like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. All right, bet. Thank you. Is that a train? Nah, this city is so advanced. It actually felt like a whole nother game being here. Oh wait, this is fancy. I didn't even know this was for that. You literally tie your horse on there. Stick him up, cowboy. Already? We're in the middle of the city, nigga. How are you riding me? Oh. Yeah, yeah real funny, Dutch. Come on. Huh? I thought so. So here we are. I was about to say, how are you doing? Of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, Whoa. how you get out? Look, around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've Wait, heard, I don't think that was this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Mm-hmm. That's right where I belong. What the? Send on my face? <laughs> Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we Over learned. here. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> yeah, this nigga yeah, is lying. Say, He's not happen. about to come over it here. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> hey, can I get Let a drink here? The rest of the states they lucky to have us. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, of course. How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. No certainly. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? A dollar? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Bro, they Sweet. lying. Here, have one same. for yourself. Well, wow, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. Nah, this nigga next to nah, me knows something. Leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Angelo I knew it. Monte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of his big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Man, they about to rob me. Oh, hey, friend. You be careful now. Immigrants are not to be trusted. Madam, back here. Good morning, sir. I'm around my people. Good morning to you. I'm around my people, man. Never thought the day would come. Yeah, I'm about to get robbed. Oh, 
come on now, this Falcon doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm Maybe. looking for a fellow so named uh, Angelo Bronte. This nigga forehead fat, too. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. Like what a little grown comes? man. Bro, they bought a steal. I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Bro, I really whoop y'all right now. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Bro, Stay this is obviously a Easy setup. Lost here. This little nigga's the ringmaster. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? They about to Pretty steal my much. wallet. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Yeah. Hope you won't need reason. his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Oh, now, over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine I knew people. it! I knew it! Bro, I knew it! Where's Horsey? Horsey. Bro, the train gotta stop. Come on, Oreo. I mean, Oreo. Snow. He ain't taking my money. I got $2,000 in there. This a uh, this okay. uh, this is a young nigga. His eyes is yellow. Welcome to San Denis, Mister. Crashed out. It's quite a town. Look at Get your lost. little evil ass way from me. That's a young nigga for real, bro. His eyes was yellow. Nigga ready to crash out at any moment. Where's Snow at? Nah, I ain't even peep, bro. Was a young nigga, man. All he missing is the shiesty. They ain't had shiesty back then. He didn't need to get that nigga a bandana. This is what? Right. How do you do? What's up with you, man? Hello? Yo, is anybody here? Cocaine gum. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoplift. Uh, I'll just come back later. Pardon me. Come on, girl. Nah, them young niggas outside in the alley. I already knew what time it was. The niggas said the alley. What? They obviously about to steal my money. Getting up Getting with some to buy. Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. 
Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Dang, there ain't no way I'm going back to camp all the way that far. It's the inner city. Don't buy that approved, stop by the back. Nigga try to take two bands off me. Morning, mister. Morning. So you get along with this. Didn't embark here for the market, folks. Hey, don't hit my horse. doing here sure less than a minute I promise uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall a shelter for homeless veterans and their families can you help a donation of $20 would put us well on our way $20 ain't no chicken feed but sure I can help you out that's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot protection no one's gonna get shot arthur so everyone just relax we'll charm them trust me this is the place <coughs> must be you okay john i guess excuse me sir we have an appointment to see mr bronte who are you uh, uh. 
you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Nigga, is that you mace? Need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Oh, that's a pistol. Why wow, look like that? Yo, that's an outfit. That's an outfit. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I need right there. That's a outfit. Mine's clean, though. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this. Like and you come into father? my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? What? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? This nigga has... Indeed you have. Now... We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, For a lot of should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Oh, yeah, they about to, yeah. Salute. They're about to get ordered. The city looks so nice at night. That's it's cool. The first girl. time we didn't see any street lights. Grave robbers? Don't they got bugs you think in there? He's taking us for a fool. No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. I don't think they it's had electricity back then, so they had bugs nope. inside there, though. You did bugs good. Like the butts Holding up. your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? No. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. 
I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack ransom. For all the money we cost him, we must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. Oh, white and these are yellow. But I got a different set of bugs in there. He knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. John, come on, bro. Just as you my nigga, don't mean you can do that. in the city yet. My nice ride. This one. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. I'll try this way. You keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. people over here. Why are they all running? Hey there, boy. Let's keep looking. This one out. You hear something? Shh, 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 shh. Stop. Hey, wait a second. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Our friend. Died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. Sunday, right? Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. You see anything? Somewhere over here, right? Mm-hmm. Right here. I hear something in there. Hey boy, I found my puppy. Watch it. Whoa, what the heck? How did they do that?
Oh my back! I thought that was you, John. Bitch. I can think of better ways to spend the evening. Put your hands on me, knuckle. Put your hands on me, knuckle. Put your hands on me, knuckle. Talking now, huh? Sure hope they ain't better than we are. Stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Not for real. Bro, look for, for some there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. That's all we got? Damn, the law's here. We gotta go. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. Oh, we'll have to go back the way we can. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Somebody own our ass, bro. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. They could have made this game story mode multiplayer. That would have been crazy. John and Arthur together on missions. That would have been legendary. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Time. Where's your host? Like I said, my Where's nigga Jack. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. Man, he actually had Jack. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. 
They even put my nigga Jack you know in new what? clothes. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> the mayor. And us, just simple country boys. <sighs> my nigga Jack. Yo, my nigga Jack. How your horse so tall too? Okay, girl. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Let's get this boy back to his mother. Yeah, I'm sure you're sure. okay, son. I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. Ooh. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. Oh, I went to by. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. Man. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Right, he was treating Papa them good. Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that. I'm please. saying he's calling nigga that shit, bro. Like, chill that out, bro. You know, right. cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me smart. two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well... I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Yeah, she was about to like you wouldn't one. know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> this it's nigga happened. came back in new clothes. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Dang, what thank about John? He did eat. Man, this nigga John was doing stuff too. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. For some weed, I know they got weed. Well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Yeah, man. Come on. Do as Dutch says. Go be with your family. Anything for my nigga Jack. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Mind yourself, Susan. Yeah, damn, nigga, push me all out the way. Hey, how about a song? How are you? Lay us away. 
Some type of thing. This nigga said he got hanged. What the heck? Cool. Where do I change clothes at? Change clothes at.
Oh, that wasn't even my room. This is my room. This shit, he right here. This is crazy. Right about that. I kind of like this one, though. Definitely gotta go to sleep, man. Arthur ain't been asleep in some days. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change? And be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. You ain't got no problem Yours, with butter. Mary. Oh my God, bro. And then this nigga gonna help her. I know he is. Get married, that. Wait, where is she even at? It says she was. Oh, that's her in the city. I ain't gonna lie. I, um, I, I hope you later. Yeah, uncle. Who the heck is this? Javier. A thousand dollars for him. Bro, what's wrong with you? Morning to. Uh huh. Smile. Things could be worse. I'll smile when I got reason to. Oh my God! What is wrong with her? Are you doing right now? I'm looking out Morning, for Martha. Same as we all. Good morning. He even looks like you, John. Always good to see. You. God, I need a drink. Everything okay? My guess, bored.
this nigga stay drunk. I swear to God. Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken Dang. by the foreman brother she used to run with. Come along! The foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right. Head for Rhodes. Yeah. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Wait, who got you now? Oh, yes. Is it the girl with the play with anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Oh, it's a black girl. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. Bro, I thought Tilly but was, like a, was, I was an she angel. She was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right I after forgot that. about them. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa! Whoa! What you want? Come, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here! I forgot she was. Oh, she was basically now, do you they keep teach you. That. But you don't mean nothing by I it. Said. You said your last word. Well, she was basically the king of this. Come on, she the queen of this. <laughs> She is the queen of this. She taught them girls how to move. Man, back in her day, I ain't gonna lie. Back in her day, Suzanne was... Hmm, I'm trying to tell you. They just don't know. Hello? Hello? Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Arthur. Yo, 